Have you ever thought about how trauma affects our lives and society at large? It's a question that may seem straightforward, but the answers are as complex as they are far-reaching. Often, trauma lurks in the shadows, unnoticed until examined, like a specter haunting the psyche. It manifests in countless ways, fits of rage, shutdowns, enigmatic behavior. These are not simply random outbursts, but echoes of past wounds, unseen, yet undeniably present. Trauma is like an invisible hand shaping us in ways we may not even realize. It's a silent scream, a call for help that often goes unheeded. It's the insistent whisper in the back of our minds, the nagging doubt, the inexplicable fear. It's the sudden flinch at a raised voice, the unease in a crowd, the sleepless nights. It's a disjointed puzzle, pieces scattered across the canvas of our lives, each one holding a fragment of the story that makes us who we are. Yet, despite its pervasiveness, Trauma is often overlooked or misunderstood. We live in a society that values strength and resilience, that shies away from vulnerability. We're taught to bury our pain, to put on a brave face, to soldier on. But what if, instead of burying our wounds, we brought them to light? What if, instead of dismissing trauma as a sign of weakness, we acknowledged its power and its impact? Because the truth is, trauma is not just a personal issue, it's a societal one. It shapes our communities, our institutions, our world. It influences our interactions, our relationships, our perceptions of ourselves and others. It's a ripple effect, one that can span generations, leaving its mark on our collective history. And yet, for all its influence, trauma remains largely unseen. It's a silent epidemic, its victims often suffering in silence, their pain unseen, unheard, unacknowledged. But just because something is invisible, doesn't mean it's insignificant. Despite its invisibility, the effects of trauma are far-reaching, deeply impacting individuals and societies. It's an unseen force, but its impact is undeniable, its presence unmistakable. The unseen impact of trauma is a reality we must face, a challenge we must meet, a conversation we must have. The understanding and study of trauma has a rich history. It's a tale woven with threads of human resilience and the quest for understanding the mind's hidden recesses. The journey to comprehend trauma's far-reaching impact took a significant turn in 1978 when a study on war veterans at the Veteran Affairs Hospital shed light on the side effects of trauma. Veterans found themselves entangled in haunting narratives of fallen comrades, feeling detached from their partners only to be overtaken by sudden eruptions of anger. Something was evidently affecting their ability to regulate emotional responses. This revelation sparked a new curiosity among psychiatrists. They began delving deeper into the intricacies of trauma, and in their quest for knowledge, they stumbled upon a forgotten gem, Abram Cardner's work with soldiers during World War II in 1941. Cardner had described a condition he termed physioneurosis, a concept that would later lay the groundwork for understanding post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. Cardner's work was revolutionary. He provided a framework for understanding how trauma could leave lasting imprints on the mind influencing how individuals respond to their environment. His insights highlighted that trauma was not an isolated experience, but a pervasive condition affecting one in five women who endure sexual molestation, men who face abuse, and children who witness violence between their parents. Even inner-city children who face unimaginable trauma were not spared. The exploration of trauma studies was not merely an academic exercise, it was a journey of discovery, shedding light on our primal responses to trauma. It revealed how our bodies shift into fight, flight, or collapse mode, reacting as if constantly under threat. This hyper-reactivity often manifests as anger, road rage, or intolerance, with many individuals unaware that these responses are rooted in past traumatic experiences. These early studies began to shed light on the profound impact of trauma on individuals. They illuminated the hidden corners of the human mind, revealing how remnants of trauma shape present actions. The legacy of these studies continues to inform our understanding of trauma today, paving the way for more compassionate and effective approaches to healing. Trauma is far from a rare occurrence. It permeates our society in ways we often fail to recognize or understand, leaving invisible scars that shape our lives. One in five women endures the horror of sexual molestation. Men too face the silent anguish of abuse, often carrying their pain in secret. Children in their tender years witness violence between parents, an experience that can cast a long and dark shadow over their lives. Inner-city children in particular are forced to grapple with unimaginable trauma, 
their young minds bearing witness to realities no child should ever have to face. Trauma, in its many forms, triggers primal responses within us, compelling us to assess our safety, to protect ourselves. Our bodies, in response to the perceived threat, shift into modes of fight, flight, or collapse. We react as if we are constantly under threat, our senses heightened, our defenses up. This hyperreactivity often manifests in ways we don't immediately associate with trauma. It shows up as bursts of anger, as road rage, as intolerance. It's the sudden eruption in response to a perceived slight, the uncontrolled fury at being cut off in traffic, the impatience with a slow moving line. These reactions, while seeming out of proportion to their triggers, are in fact deeply rooted in past experiences, in wounds that have not healed. Though we may not be fully aware of it, these remnants of trauma shape our present actions, coloring our interactions with others and our perceptions of the world. They are the unseen drivers of behavior, the invisible puppeteers pulling the strings. Though often unnoticed, the remnants of trauma shape our present actions. Understanding this, recognizing the role that trauma plays in our lives, is a crucial first step towards healing. It's about peeling back the layers, about digging deep to uncover the root causes of our reactions. It's about acknowledging that our responses are not random but are instead rooted in experiences that have left their mark on us. And it's about finding ways to navigate through the world with this newfound understanding, to move past the trauma and towards a place of healing and growth. The healing process from trauma is a complex one. It's not a simple case of applying a band-aid and waiting for the wound to heal. It's about delving deep into the psyche, understanding the intricacies of the human mind, and acknowledging the impact of lived experiences. Traditional approaches to healing have often dismissed these lived realities. Consider the systemic issues like poverty, racism, and unemployment that are so intertwined with mental well-being. It's a disservice to label individuals as defective and prescribe medication as the primary solution. It's an approach that rarely leads to genuine healing as it overlooks the root cause and the individual's unique circumstances. So what does genuine progress look like? It's about understanding relationships that provide a safe space for expression. It's about creating environments where individuals feel secure, heard, and understood. It's about acknowledging the person's experiences, their fears, their triggers, and their resilience. It's about building trust and fostering connections. It's about validating their feelings, their reactions, and their coping mechanisms. Healing also requires self-compassion. It's about acknowledging that our responses to trauma are understandable given the circumstances. It's about releasing self-blame and self-judgment. It's about recognizing that our reactions are a result of past experiences, not a sign of inherent flaws. But most importantly, healing requires understanding and tending to concealed wounds. It's not about erasing the past, but about integrating it. It's about making sense of our experiences, making peace with them, and using them as stepping stones towards growth and recovery. This challenge of healing is not a solo journey. It's a collective effort. It's about creating a society that understands trauma, that empathizes with those who have gone through adverse conditions, and that supports their journey towards healing. Healing from trauma is not about fixing a defect, but about understanding and tending to concealed wounds. It's about acknowledging the strength of survivors, fostering resilience, and celebrating their journey towards recovery. It's about creating a society that doesn't just survive, but thrives. Understanding trauma is not just for the benefit of those who have experienced it. Indeed, it is a collective responsibility, a societal duty that we all must shoulder. We live in an interconnected world where the pains and joys of one ripple through the fabric of our shared existence. The trauma experienced by a single individual doesn't just affect them, it affects us all. It may be your coworker struggling to focus, your neighbor who seems distant, or the child in your kid's class who is always acting out. These are not isolated incidents but part of a broader narrative. A narrative of invisible wounds that often remain unacknowledged and untreated. Our collective well-being hinges on our ability to recognize and address these wounds. A society that comprehends trauma is a society that fosters thriving minds and brains. It's a society that values empathy and understanding over dismissive labels and quick fixes. It's a society that acknowledges the profound impact of poverty, racism, and unemployment on mental well-being. And so, we must work together to create this society. We must break through the barriers of misunderstanding and stigma that often surround trauma. 
We must strive to foster safe spaces where individuals can express their pain rather than suppress it. We must advocate for policies and programs that prioritize mental health, especially for those growing up under adverse conditions. This is not a task for a select few. It's a call to action for us all. Whether you're a teacher, a lawyer, a doctor, or a student, you have a role to play. You can start by educating yourself about trauma and its far-reaching impact. You can strive to be more understanding, more compassionate, more patient with those around you. Remember, healing is a journey, not just for the individual, but for society as a whole. And it's a journey that we must embark on together. So, take it upon yourself to educate and inform others about trauma. It's time to create a society where all members can flourish, transcending shadows of trauma and embracing enlightenment. Thanks for joining. Please don't forget to love the like button, harmoniously subscribe and enhance the bell for more updates on living a balanced life. Also, your comments and feedback are always welcome if you like the content. Signing off from Curio Nexus until next time.